Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and the community here on COD Zombies HQ. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're not already for more daily news updates. You guys dropped 1,341 likes on yesterday's video. That is absolutely incredible. So let's see if we can do it again with 1,000 likes on this video. Before we get right into our first story of the day, I just want to quickly thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We hit that point early morning today and have blew past it. The support for the channel over the last week has been insane, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, yesterday a big zombies YouTuber named Glitching Queen uploaded a video entitled New Fire Portal Sky Vortex Easter Egg. In the video, she said she was getting reports from a bunch of people claiming they found a new easter egg that kind of looks like a sky vortex or a hurricane really close to ground level of the map. Well, this phenomenon was just captured on video by a YouTube user named Hassan, and this is what the footage looks like. As you guys can see, the lighting gets all messed up, it looks like there's fire around the map, and once he goes upstairs and looks up at the sky, it looks like there's a vortex or some kind of fire portal just hovering a few meters above the map. Hassan was wasn't the only one to capture it on video though. Tweeting Glitching Queen Twitter user GageFC captured this video. And as you can see guys, it's a very similar phenomenon in a different location. A lot of people are thinking that this could be a new unreleased easter egg and are working on trying to find the steps for it. But other people are saying that no, this is just a glitch having to do with the dragon's fire kind of creating this odd effect. And it's actually just a graphics glitch. What do you guys think? Is this a legit easter egg or just a graphics glitch? Let me know down in the comments. Moving right on ahead to our second story of the day. This one's coming from a YouTube user named Sir Jammy. And he is actually one of the participants in the Black Ops 3 mod tools closed alpha. Well, yesterday he uploaded his progress vid to one of the best looking Black Ops 3 custom maps I've seen so far. The map has a working title of Old London, and as you can see guys, it's very much a work in progress, but it already has this atmosphere about it that I don't think a lot of custom maps yet have. He's doing an awesome job showing what the Black Ops 3 mod tools are capable of, and you can find the full video down in the description. Now moving on to our third story of the day guys, tomorrow, August the 14th, 2016, Kicking off at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is the Easter Eggs for Charity event hosted by NoahJ456. Guys, this is the biggest Zombies livestream event ever, and it's all for a good cause. We have four teams made up of four players each of some of the biggest Zombies YouTubers, and they'll be trying to complete every single main Easter Egg in Black Ops 3 as quickly as possible. NoahJ456 will be hosting the stream and kind of checking up on each of the team's progress. Every single participant of the event will be streaming themselves, so we'll have a multitude of different perspectives. I can't wait for the event to kick off. It's going to be a fantastic live stream. I'll be in the main channel around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll leave a link to where the stream is actually happening down in the description. Well, guys, that wraps up the news today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're not already for more daily news updates. If you haven't seen it already, I did an awesome stream today playing on Gorod Krovi on PC as a kind of 10k subscriber special and I'll leave a link to the full VOD for that stream down in the description and on your screen now via annotation for PC users so you can definitely check out that vid if it interests you. Well guys I want to thank you again for watching and I'll see you with another news update tomorrow.